Let's well, let's go in here and get some petrol. Some fuel. Taking the last pump, buddy. What are you doing? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Are you backing up? I want that last pump. What are you doing? He don't know what he's doing. Well, I guess I'll have to grab a different pump. I don't know what he's doing. Well, we'll take the next to last. Oh, well, gotta remember. My fuel doors are different on this one. Yeah. There's that sound. I get back to you guys. Good morning. Welcome to We Love Loves. Good morning. Let's just go on in here and go get some. Top our tanks off. This one too. Yep, it's early morning. It's another day. I think we're gonna have a good day. Free thinking and all. Free thinkers welcome. Encouraged. Yes. All right, guys, well, we're gonna go in. It's about 15 degrees here, or at least that's what my satellite said. All right, guys, gals, love you. I'm out.
life is gonna be the way Man power overruling And all of us will have to pay So you have to say a pray now We all have to say a pray From the day we were born We did nothing wrong But still it's been so long So we have love and unity Long live and prosperity But the difficulties they put on us Man power ruling us Ignorant politicians Tennessee passed a law outlawing drag or something to that effect. Yeah. What this country's come to. You know, as I drive across this country from LA to Boston and from basically Miami, Port Lauderdale, all the way up to Seattle. I'll just say it. This is an exceptionally beautiful country that we are so blessed, yes I said blessed, to be a part of. Um, I am not a politically correct individual, so I'm happy with Tennessee. Not because of a Republican state, Democrat state, blah, 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 all of that. Just, I, I think it goes, well, for me, it goes way beyond a two-party country. You know, as a man of faith, we all, whether we want to uh, believe it, have faith for it, or receive it, we all will answer to a higher power and there's just certain things that uh, whether you want to agree with it or not are just factual so but 
I thought I'd chat with you guys a little bit. We haven't... I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out. Like I said, I don't do this for clicks and all that other stuff. That's why I don't have all the different camera angles and all the different hoo-ha. I'm just a regular guy. I'm just out here busting my hump working 700, 700 plus miles a day if I can, you know, to support my wife and my three dogs at home. I'm just a high mileage runner. And just that. That is that is a long train. Sitting, but it's a long train. I don't know if the camera will pick it up because it's pretty foggy. Well, I wouldn't say foggy, it's a high fog now. But um, yeah, there's a few of you guys that have that have gotten blocked or something. I'm not exactly sure what YouTube is doing. Um, where you're honest about your opinions, but somehow it doesn't get through. I apologize. I'm certainly not the one that's blocking it. Uh, just that. I, I mean, I just, I don't know how else to put that, but, uh, no, it's just, it's a moral compass that's broken in this country. Morals and ethics. Character is what you do when nobody's looking. But it's just you and yourself. What do you do then? Alright guys, let me flip you guys around. I'm going to show you, this is our part of the Yellowstone River that we're driving past. That uh, are not driving past, we're rolling alongside of, and we've stopped here before. Um, I don't know if you'll get to see the river. It's uh, I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. It kind of, as you can see by the window, it's kind of just all white, but it's leaving that frost all over everything. So, but we're having a good day. Chuck's reading 16 degrees. I think it's actually. It's off by about five degrees, four to five. So, but uh, enjoy. Let let let's let's start a conversation. Leave a comment. Uh, what you think? I mean, every everybody has an opinion, and everybody's allowed to have it. I certainly will not tell you you can't have your opinion, whether I agree with you or not. Whether I agree with you or not matters not. So, but I like to debate things. I like to discuss things. I'm kind of an information nerd. That's why I like Google a little bit where you can research things. So, but anyway, enough of that. Let me just enjoy the windshield. We are done for the day. Sitting here in Miles City, Montana. Oh, what a, I want to end on something. We're going to roll this up quickly. Uh, kind of curious on your guys' thoughts on this. Got into a riveting conversation with a good friend of mine about loyalty to companies. Now, I remember back in the day before my dad passed away when I was 10, um... 
that would have been in the mid to late well he passed away in 76 but probably about 72 to 76 the company he was working for companies were a little bit more loyal to the driver or drivers to the to the workers back then um doesn't seem to be the case anymore these days everybody just let me readjust this a little bit sorry for that um Companies just don't seem to be loyal to employees as much as they used to, or at least I, I don't remember it that way anymore. Um, I've had, it, I know in my own case, where I think it was like 18, company I worked for knew they were closing the doors the night that I went home. I came in, in for my next shift the next day, and there's a padlock across the gate. Didn't even have a decency to tell us on the way out the door. That would have been in 85. And I think at that point I learned that these aren't my daddy's companies no more. I'm not saying companies are bad, but companies are not loyal to employees. So no matter how hard you work, most companies. Now this company I'm currently with... Um, is a stand-up company, I'm, and this isn't a promotion for my outfit, um, but they are hiring. <laughs> I'll throw that in there. Uh, but like most trucking companies, they're always hiring. Um, this company's a, above above it all. I mean, because the, the the company that I just left before here let me walk right out the door. Did even did even blink an eye. It's like okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, but my friend was just, he's still struggling, even though he's in his mid sixties, he still thinks that, you know, cause he puts all that effort and energy and all that into a company that somehow that is reciprocated coming back to him. And I'm like, no, not, not, not so much. Just kind of curious about your guys' opinion on that. If you guys got any not so much stories, um, and, and certainly want to share them, you can. Um, but I was just more curious as to your opinions of, do you feel in your genres and where you work and where you're at that your employer gives a rip one way or the other about you or val? I shouldn't say care about you. Do they value you? Back to that moral compass we were talking about earlier. Is is there um, not so much a moral compass, but do they do they respect you and value your worth in the outfit? These guys, they we've had that discussion. I I'm very grateful for the owner that we have for the outfit where I'm at. Just all three of them because it's a grandpa, you know son and then grandson that are running the outfit so and i deal with the grandson so um but all all three of them are in the company and they're all working so it's 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 definitely a different i'm just not used to how they run their outfit it, it so um but yeah it i've had many companies that let you walk right out the door um let you finish your day not tell you like that one run I was like 18 and then my construction where I even got into the driving world um, let me get the concrete poured get the job done get it to where one guy could finish it so and then let me go nine years of service see ya didn't even look back so but anyway Enough of that. We're done. We're finished. We only made it to Miles City. Not too bad. Uh, a little heavy, so we lost a little bit of time in in uh, climbing the mountains. So uh, we're about eh, eight, ten minutes short of where I wanted to get to. So, but we're only going to make it back to our yard tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be preloaded for a load going down to Sioux City, Iowa. And then from there, I cross over the river into South Sioux City, um, Nebraska, on the other side of the river, and do another delivery, and then 
bobtail all the way back up to the Twin Cities and hopefully the storm is not going to be that bad that's supposedly hitting Minnesota tomorrow. So, all right, guys, gals, I love you. God bless. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you get these vlogs when I put them out every day. Sometimes they come out in the middle of the day, so I don't know. It is what it is, as they would say. On that, God bless. I love you guys. Lord willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.